The 100 Day Heart Challenge has been set up to try to help individuals understand how to become healthier, how to live a healthier lifestyle. That they live, it's not a diet that they go on, it's just short term, it's something that they can continue to do even after the 100 days. But in the challenge, it makes it a little bit more fun because the 15 individuals that are chosen actually get to compete against each other to see who can become healthier. Not who can lose the most weight, but who can become the healthier individual. The idea of the 100 Day Heart Challenge, it was truly intended to reach out to community members and get the word out about um, heart disease, the incidence of heart disease in women. When we got the word out, and we started the contest and uh, started up, um, getting applications, and we reviewed the applications, we found that there were a number of our own employees who were applying to be part of the challenge. Um, initially, because it was intended to be a community effort, we turned down our own employees. And uh, as the challenges developed, we had more and more employees uh, wanting to participate. At that point in time, we decided that we had the resources, the ability, and for sure the desire to be able to help more than just our community members, considering that our own employees are members of our own community. To begin the heart challenge, the, each participant is tested in a number of different areas to find out where they are as far as their total cholesterol, their HDL levels, their LDL levels, their triglycerides, what their ratio is for their total cholesterol to HDL levels, what their blood pressure is, what their percent body fat is, um, as their waist circumference and um, how much they weigh. Each one of those things are measured on each individual and then at the end of the 100 days, they're retested to see who's made the most changes in each area. The challenge was great. Um, now the nutrition class, um, that's one of the things why I, I kind of picked out and said, hey, you get a free nutrition class, a uh, trainer, and you f have a free membership to the gym for 100 days. I said, why not? You know, that's free. Why not take it? The challenge was great. It included um, a lot of different things. We had a weekly nutrition class that talks about uh, healthy eating and certain things we want to eat and portion control um, and different stuff with diet and just have a healthy lifestyle. Then there was also the aspect of a trainer which we had um, the opportunity of twice a week plus we also got to use the wellness center um, as much as we wanted during this time period for free. I was very happy with my results. In the The main reason I wanted to try the challenge was because I had, as I was getting older, I was noticing that my weight was creeping up on the scale. Plus my blood pressure was creeping up, my cholesterol, they were all starting to creep up, which was, I guess, a part of age. And I think for many years I had just used the excuse that, oh, I had nine children, you know, I don't need to be in shape. Well, I realized that my last child I had 24 years ago, and so that's really not an excuse anymore. I need to get my life in, in, in uh, control and start learning to control my eating and to control, try to learn to control my cholesterol and my, um, blood, my lipid profile and those things. I had a physical and the doctor told me that I was a borderline of being, um, my cholesterol was being too high. And so, um, and he said if you don't change the way you eat, you're going to be on the pill to control your cholesterol and that's uh, I, I'm the type of person that never wants to take a pill even only when I'm about to die then I'll take a pill but um, motivation family as well I want to you know, be around when my kids are old um, you know just um, not being sick all the time that's another motivation I, I want to be healthy I want to go out and do stuff I don't want to be limited to what I do um, because of some health issue The challenge was great for me in the fact it gave me that push start for the diet exercise plan that I've been wanting to do. Um, I've you know gone on a diet here and there before, and this is the, the longest I've ever actually stayed on a diet and an exercise plan. And I'm still continuing to do it even after finishing. It is a lifestyle change. We have tremendous support from everyone involved in the program, um, from the nutritionists to the trainers to everyone over the wellness center. I think it's just a fantastic program. I wish they could 
do it more. I wish they had more openings that they could take everyone who has a desire to do it because it really was a life changing event for me. The challenge overall was great. Um, grateful for uh, the hot sources team, uh, the managers, the physicians, you know, the clinicians, everybody that put it together, even the wellness center, Tracy and her team. Great for them. Um, I learned a lot, even nutrition, uh, uh, Mindy and the team, they, they helped out a lot teaching us about nutrition facts and how we should eat and how we should, you know, food intake and all that stuff. I think stuff. this is a great opportunity for the employees of Utah Valley to be able to participate in a challenge like this. Um, there's a lot of people that donated their time and their skills and just their care and concern about how we did this challenge and the resources of the hospital is a great opportunity in the fact that we got all these things for free and it, it's a lifestyle change. I mean we all became healthier people and you know, that's a priceless gift that you can't ask.